Researchers embedded a high resolution weather model within a climate model to produce detailed synthetic forecast of two scenarios, arc history and arc future. Arc history uses data from our historical climate while arc future considers climate change. Both scenarios are devastating, but arc future ended up much worse, producing 45% more rain. The storm projected is actually a series of atmospheric rivers over the course of a month that produced 15 to 35 inches of rain in the valley and 25 to 35 feet of snow in the Sierra. This amount would cause flash floods, debris flows, rock slides, water contamination, food shortages, and more problems. A warmer climate will lead to higher snow levels. That means less snow, more rain, more runoff, and more flooding. The big question is, when will this happen? In the simulations, all eight of the largest megastorm events occurred in El Nino conditions. Meteorologists can predict ENSO conditions two to six months out, while atmospheric rivers can be forecasted five to seven days out. Climate change has more than tripled the risk of an extreme event like 1862 relative to 100 years ago. Our odds of this occurring have increased to one in 50 years, but if the temperatures keep rising, so do our odds. We have signs to look for, but the bottom line is that it's impossible to predict exactly when this is going to happen. One of the authors of this study says it's like a pendulum. Right now, it's swinging towards drought, but eventually and inevitably, it will swing towards flood. This leaves California in a precarious position where we must prepare for both extreme droughts and floods at the same time. This project is not over. The second phase of this study will focus on who would get flooded, how deeply, and for how long. The third phase will focus on policy, emergency response, and preparations. As far as what you and I can do, we can fight for policies to stop our climate from warming even further. And most importantly, stay informed, like you're doing right now. Thank you for tuning in. Christina, back to you.